So, just getting here to the beach. How you doing? You getting bites? Couple. Couple? Some whiting? Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Let's bring up our first rig that we're going to be using today. Just got with Chip the other day. Just got picked up some more of these Sputniks. You can buy these from the sinker guy, sinkerguy.com. And I also got some more Bruno rigs. So definitely go pick you up some Bruno rigs from the sinker guy, sinkerguy.com. All right, let me get this rigged up. So this is a little universal knot. I'm gonna go through here like, through here like five or six times, one, Two, three, four, five, six. And then notice the yellow's on top, orange is on bottom. And the Sputnik goes on the end. And the Sputnik's gonna go down here. That is it. So get this guy on there. So just kind of lock that in place. Be sure before you, and every time you reel it in, you wanna pinch these down on either side so it holds well. And then push them up to lock them in. Locking it in place. There we go. Now we're gonna load it up with some shrimp and probably some uh, fish bites too. Just to uh, let me get my fish bites out. We want some shrimp flavor since we're putting shrimp on there. I'll take some off. You don't need big pieces, so I'm gonna cut some off. There we go. Fish bites, easy shrimp. Put that back in there. So. That's about as big as I want to get it. We cut this stuff. All right. So I'm going to load this up first. Shrimp flavor. All right, let's put some shrimp on there. Let's grab one of these guys. What do y'all think? Look at this guy. This guy's a pretty good size. So I'm gonna cut the head off. Cut the tail off. Just this little end piece. Into the shell, out through the shell. Maybe go up to right here so it stays in place. I want to make sure before you try to. Cast. Tip of this rod, make sure this line is not wrapped around it every time before you cast because sometimes it'll be wrapped around it, especially with this wind out here. And then there goes your tip. So 
So that's the first one. Today, I don't usually do this, but today I'm going to set up to catch a shark. Uh, last time I caught a bonnet head, I want to catch a bonnet head because last time I caught a bonnet head, I uh, forgot to take a picture of, with my face in it and I didn't get credit on uh, catchafloridamemory.com. So I would definitely love to catch a bonnet head out here today. So uh, that's what this guy's for. And uh, this is the uh, the Megatron reel. I have uh, the Megatron, the Casking Megatron. I have the Casking Megatron reels on all of my uh, surf rods because it is an aluminum frame compared to a graphite. So it can definitely handle, you know, some good uh, small size sharks. Let's see what we can do today. This is my star rod. Star Stellar. It is a 12 foot, uh, takes 20 to 40 pound line. You can throw a three to 10 ounce lure, uh, three to 10 ounce lures on here. So it is a really strong backbone rod here. Have my wire leader with a swivel. Have a six aught circle hook, six aught circle hook. I have a four ounce pyramid weight. Then I have the slider. And then right at the end of the slider, I'm going to have this uh, bead right there. So first, what you want to do for this rig, and this is the same rig I used to catch bull reds on. So I like this slider. This is what the weight's going to go. This is what the four ounce weight's going to go on or whatever weight you have. Then I have my bead right there. And then, basically just tie it right here. This is 50 pound braid. So really, if I got something that's gonna break this braid, uh, I'm not really wanting to reel that in. I mean, if, if it breaks me off, then I'm fine with that. But yeah, I'm not interested in anything bigger than that if it breaks this then it breaks it so there we go so now uh, until I catch the whiting or something I'm actually got, I actually brought some blue crab I'm not sure if sharks eat blue crab but that's what I have initially maybe a bull red will get this guy there we go. Got one and a half blue crab today. Had a half of one from last time. Oops, don't drop my scissors or my weight. What I'm gonna do here, just go with one through one of these knuckles. Yep, like that. Go out the shell here up top. Like that, so it's it's not going anywhere. And I don't put a Sputnik because those wires are sticking out, and those wires will uh, will get tangled up all in this line. So um, usually, you always get a pyramid weight on there. You can use a storm sinker too. There we go. So here we go. That is a setup right there. Toss it out there, see if I can catch something. Here. You got it? You want her? I'm eating. Oh. Let it go, let it go. Let me tighten it a little bit. Yeah. It's a big one. I started eating something. <laughs> That's when it happens. Wait, reel down and pull up. Nice and slow. It's a 
shark. It's a shark. That's what I was trying to get. That's exactly what I was going for. All right, I need to take a picture with a camera. You got a bonnet head? Yeah. Wrong way, wrong way. All right, hold on. Hold on. I know. All right. There he goes. All right. Whoo. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> the fight there? They went on the shrimp. He got the shrimp. Yeah. He bent the hook out. All right, so I'm going to change the hook out. Man, I got the shrimp. Huh, okay. It felt good, too. Yeah, he was strong. He kept pulling the drag. As soon as I saw it go down, I was like, oh, that's got to be a shark. <laughs> the way it was, hold, it was holding that thing down, I was like, damn. That's not no, that's not no whiting, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. I always bring some extra hooks also, in case you bend some hooks out. So... Let me show you about these rigs. That's the good thing about these rigs. All right, so basically you just bring this down and then this line, let me take this off. And the hook just comes right off like that. And you're ready to hook, put your other hook on. This line's not frayed at all either. Here we go. Next hook is on, then you just kind of open it up, put it on there. Just like that. Ready for your bait. Hit the orange one. The orange. Well, that's it for the day. Had a couple whiting. Alright, so get this whiting head I'm gonna put on here. And that bonnet head shark. So that was all the, the time that we have for today. Taking a, a few whiting home. We'll be able to cook them up. Hey. Reel this guy in. Got a sand flea. Little big guy. Little guy. Got him dragging him, dragging it in. There's some sand fleas out here. Here comes Miss Katie. Thank you, Miss Katie.